Hello YouTube, Bill Hensley here. And uh, first off, let me apologize for the uh, poor video quality. I'm kind of uh, doing this on the fly here. I am uh, parked at a Chevrolet dealership. I am hooked up to a semi-fast charger. And I say semi because it's uh, these units, they don't quite charge at the uh, rate as a, a normal fast charger would. But uh, when you're in a jam like I am right now, <laughs> you take what you can get and you're grateful for uh, at least you know what they have here. Um, so as you may have seen in the uh, title of the video, I, I, I've got a, I am asking for help right now. I, I am, uh, I am at the end of my rope here and I, I normally wouldn't do this, but, uh, a, a lot of you know, I haven't put out any videos in quite a while here. And the reason for that is I regrettably, I am going through a divorce right now. Yeah, you heard right. Um, I am. I, we've, we've ended up selling everything. I no longer own my Nissan Leaf, which a lot of you know that we've had two cars. We've had this car and, and the Leaf. Uh, I ended up selling the Leaf a, a while ago. Uh, I got rid of uh, all of my uh, video games. I had a really nice uh, video game collection. Um, and, and we just sold our house uh, this past Friday. So we have pretty much gotten rid of everything. We're we're remaining civil to each other because neither one of us hates each other. She simply just uh, fell out of love with me. And <laughs> I don't know if it was because I've been putting too much focus and time and attention into my YouTube or, or what it was. She says it's not that. But, uh, you know, I can't help but feel that, you know, maybe I've done something wrong along the way. But regardless, uh, um, so I am <laughs> I am down to just owning this car right now and I'm living with my parents and and I've been uh, looking at properties I've been trying to to find a house something that's decent for uh not just myself but for for Ben you know I mean I'm, I'm gonna be having them 50 percent of the time and I I just I don't see putting myself into an apartment after being a homeowner for nearly five years uh this really hit me like a ton of bricks I I, I really didn't see it coming I knew there were times that she appeared maybe unhappy, but uh, I, I didn't think it was going to lead to to this. I didn't think it was going to be, you know, a divorce. But regardless, um, I I found a property after looking at like ten or fifteen different properties, and uh, all of them were junk. I mean, they were just they were not good at all. And I finally stumble across after expanding my area, and, and oh, there goes my lights. <laughs> um. After expanding my area and, and searching out beyond uh, what I would consider my comfort zone, just being here in the city, uh, I actually found a decent property up north, which is closer to where my parents live. And, you know, my support system's up there. And I've actually got a couple of friends, in, in, you know, friends on top of family uh, all live up that way. So I, I just kind of, I said, you know what, I'll, well, let me do it. I'll, I'll put an offer in on this house. And it, the house that I actually found, the only reason I did it was because after seeing so many different properties, this house that I found, it was beautiful. And I was like, wow. So long story short, I, I'm, I'm rambling. I know I am. I'm sorry. Uh, but uh, long story short, I uh, I put this offer in on this house and everything seems to be going well right up until the appraisal came back just the other day. And it came in lower than what anyone was expecting. No one expected the appraisal to come in at what it came in at. Uh, everyone thought that these sellers, because of the the beauty of the house, the location of the house, everyone's like, oh, they're pricing this to sell. And and they could have asked five or $10,000 more than what they're asking for. And lo and behold, it comes in like $5,000 less than what I put my offer in at. So now I'm trying to scramble because... I am literally going to lose this place over a matter of $5,000. And after investing so much time and effort in trying to secure this home, a home that I feel would be good for my son and myself, I just, I don't know what's going to happen. So I, I am I am asking anyone, if, if they're able, even if you can just donate $5, uh, I am try, I, I've got a goal of $5,000. Um, and miraculously, I'm already up to 1,100 on that. But uh, if if I can if I can meet that goal, I'll be able to secure this home, and I'll actually have a decent place for myself and my son. And I'll be uh, posting some videos once I can get my feet back on the ground here. I plan on showing some videos of what it's like driving an electric car, uh, 
having a commute, my commute would be about 37 miles. You know, I'm, I'm used to just being in the city and going, you know, five miles here, two miles there. But I would have a 35, 37 mile uh, commute into work and then the same thing back each day. And I was, you know, right now I am charging off of level one at my parents' house because there is no other option. There's no, there's no uh, hookups for, for uh, 220 at least, you know. They've got their dryer, but I, it's just not feasible for me to uh, park the car and hook up to their dryer hookup. So I am relying on level one and then the uh, fast charger here or the medium charger. Um, and that is what's getting me by right now. Uh, I, I'll, I'll do some videos on that, too. Consider this the first video. <laughs> um, but uh, no, what I like to do is uh, if I can get my feet landed here and, and get situated and, and secure this home, um, it's got provisions where I can hook up 220 to the garage. There's a nice, uh, it's not an attached garage. It's a, it's a separate garage, but it's, it's big enough for two vehicles, actually. More than enough for this vehicle. Um, but I was going to, uh, you know, start charging daily or by daily and, you know, do some videos. What, what it's like having an electric car and having a 45-minute commute into work. Because my commute's never been like that. My commute's always been right here in town. So, um, anyways, I'm... I, I, I know, again, I'm rambling, I'm sorry, <laughs> but I just figured I'm going to do this video on the fly. I didn't think I was going to do a video, but I was like, I, I made a discussion on my YouTube page here, and if you look, you'll see the discussion, and I even notated, it's like, well, I'm not going to do a video, but uh, I guess my discussion doesn't hit everybody. Unless you're looking for it, you're not going to see it. So I'm making this video out of a bit of a desperation and, and hoping that it touches those who... Uh, you know, would, would be able to possibly help me. So uh, that's it for now. Um, I'm actually getting ready to unhook here so I can make the rest of the way into work. But uh, I just, I, I've got to do something. And if, if if I let this pass me by, if I didn't put out this video, if I didn't seek out the help I'm, I'm looking for, you know, I, I don't know. Um, but if you can help me, I appreciate it. And, and if not, just maybe pass this video along to those who you know might be able to, to lend a hand and I, I really would appreciate it if, uh, if, if you could do that for me. So, uh, other than that, again, <laughs> I will uh, keep you posted and, and hopefully, uh, all of this, uh, pans out and I'll be able to, uh, get back on my feet here soon. And this won't be as bad as, uh, it appears to be right now. So, all right. I appreciate you guys uh, taking a view at this video and I will, uh, catch you all later. Thank you.